Welcome back to Good Day. It's 811. We're going to be learning about a really neat art form this morning. We're with uh, Brittany Evans. You guys remember her from the Sylvester's Downtown Farmers Market. And this is Vicki Churchman. And you might have seen her before on here for the Flint River Aquarium. Uh, we've been talking about some things with her in the past. But today she's on with Woozle's Lamp Work. And this is your own business. Yes, it is. So tell us what you do. You got this nice setup here. Well, I take these glass rods and I melt them with my torch and turn them into beads like this. Wow. So this is glass. Yes. And it comes in this stick thing. Yes. And you do what with it? I use this torch. Okay. And melt the glass onto a rod like this, a metal rod wow. like this, and turn it into tiny pieces of art. How long does it take to melt this? To, just to get it hot to melt, a couple minutes. Wow. But it takes anywhere from two to two minutes to 30 minutes to make a bead. And you've been doing this for four years. Yes. How did you learn and get started with this? Uh, I'm actually self-taught. I YouTube and forums Best way. on YouTube. the internet. <laughs> YouTube. There you go. So what made you think, I think I could do this? Um, I started out just making jewelry just on my own okay. and got interested in the glass beads mm -hmm. and how they were made and just started exploring what it would take okay. to make them myself. So how do you hold this without burning your hands? It does not heat up enough towards the end. Okay. Um, when it's long like this, mm -hmm. when it gets shorter, I have forceps that I hold it with. And how do you make it into a shape? I have, I do it through gravity or I oh. have various shapers like this Okay. that have little cavities that help me shape it. Okay, you know what that reminds me of? Let me hold that up really quick. Okay. The Patriot, when he makes the little, uh, burns the little soldiers yes. into bullets <laughs> and he puts them in the little bullet maker, that's what this looks like. It's a mold. Yes. Okay, so, and they have different bead shapes on there. Mm -hmm. Now you have some beads that have different colors, so how do, do you incorporate two different uh, pieces? I, I simply use different colors of glass and I've learned over the years how different colors go together and what colors work on top of each other. That is so neat. So how long does it take you to make a full, one full necklace? Like this, like um, this one. Like that one? Wow. That one took me quite some time. Uh, each bead probably took me about um, close to 10 minutes. Now this doesn't so. even look like glass, it looks like rock. It does, How yes. did you do that? Uh, I used uh, silver foil. Silver foil burns onto glass and does like a this? reaction. Yes. Well, this is aluminum, but similar Okay. Piece. Absolutely incredible. And you just used different shades of glass yes. for this? Yes, yes. Wow. That is so neat. All right. Well, now, Brittany, um, she comes down to the, the farmer's market and kind of performs for you guys? That's right. She's actually one of our famous uh, crafters uh -huh. <laughs> in Sylvester, and we have a lot of people that want to come see her. I bet so. And um, this is what we're looking for, unique, authentic types of crafts mm -hmm. at our farmer's market. Wonderful. Well, such a talent you have. Thank I you. mean, I'm sure people are just crowded around you. Does that make you nervous with everybody Sometimes watching? It does. I bet so. <laughs> well, you guys stay with us. We're going to learn more about this in just a little while. We'll be back with more Good Day.